Hey everybody, what's up? It's Sam from High Vis Lighting and the FireTech brand. We're here at FDIC 2023. We have the new Fire Market demo truck. This is my old H1 Hummer that you might have seen hanging from the crane with the warning lights between it proving how durable those things are about a year ago. We rebuilt it and got it ready for FDIC with the new FireTech Omen warning light bar. I'm gonna walk you through that. The smartest warning light system ever produced and specifically for a fire truck. We have the High Vis Connect ecosystem that allows communication between fixtures. A little more abstract, but I'll talk to you about that. I'm gonna show you the HVC Guardians, which communicate with the light bars and the truck. Really cool tech. I'll show you Violet, which is an ultraviolet UVC decontamination system for a fire truck. And I'll also walk you through our new DOT stop tail turn, turn signal, and backup lights, which are super sick. So follow me and we'll show you the booth. We were asked for years to develop a warning light. And there's so many great warning lights in the market that we didn't really wanna enter the market until we knew we could blow the top off of it and do something different and unique. When we started doing our research to figure out kind of what the best area for us to start developing was, people kept telling us, look, we love these things, but they always fill with water. Is there a way you can solve that problem? And when we look at what we do with all the other fire tech fixtures with our scene lights, we thought there is a better way. You don't have to have a light bar that has a whole plastic assembly on the top. We can take modules like the BG2, create a system that mounts to an external exoskeleton, mount these things on there and build basically a bucket without a bottom. There's nowhere for water to go. So the FireTech Omen light bar is a modular warning lighting system that does a lot of cool stuff. Mechanically, it's designed to be the most durable fixture ever built and electrically, it's the most flexible. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. This is a responding mode. You'll see it set up right now with the upper and lower circuits are red responding warning lights. Those are designed to be your primary response circuits. They're super high output. They, uh, they're legal in all 50 states. And so when you think about the different color choices people make, everyone is able to use red. Some might choose others. Most folks always have red and something else. So we focused on a light bar for a fire truck that includes red circuits, but then we also did things like traffic directors. This indicates this is an amber circuit. You can mix this into your main mixer. You could leave it separate. You could do traffic director right, traffic director center out. You could do, here's a center out here. Oops, there we go, center out mode. There's another cool thing you can do, which is a command on demand function. This center row can be set up to do a variety of things, but it's RGBAW, red, green, blue, amber, white. This command on demand function lets you pull up, hit a button, hey, I'm the incident commander, everyone will report to me for an assignment, for instance. This can be set up. Every FireTech light bar that will ship with the Omen uh, light bar has this functionality built in. It's all five circuits every time. So the primary optics are always red, then you've got red, green, blue, amber, white options in your middle row, and it does a lot of really cool stuff. I'll show you, uh, we have a, uh, a pre-configured script that lets them match my <laughs> sick new FDIC shoes. So if you're here, come dance on the roof with me. This is pretty exciting. This shows the new FireTech Omen with multicolor center row. Now, another couple of cool features with the FireTech Omen bar, are that this thing is all based on an exoskeleton. You can attach something like a Haas Alert Safety Cloud transmitter on the roof of this thing. It mounts right to the thing. It communicates over CAN with our Hivis Connect electrical system. And then you can send digital alerts to other vehicles around the roadway. If you're sending an alert like traffic director left, it will tell oncoming motorists, hey, traffic director left. It's more than just ham in the roadway. It's really a smart communication platform. The other cool thing we can do is we can send software updates. So one of the things we heard was that here at FDIC, people are worried that, you know, like lead times are long. It's three years to get an ambulance. It's two to three years to get a fire truck. If it's that long to get a vehicle, a lot of folks are concerned that their vehicles will get electrical systems or parts that will be obsolete by the time the vehicle shows up. With this system, it's totally updatable. The Hivis Connect protocol allows us to just pull up an app, shoot some data to the device, it downloads a new set of firmware, and you get all the features every time. So if you write a spec for a fire truck that's not gonna deliver for three years, make sure you write it with tech that can be updated so in three years, you get all of the latest features. That's the FireTech Omen, and I'll show you the Hivis Connect product next. So this is the HVC Guardian Junior warning light. It's available in both the Guardian Junior size and the full size. What's cool is it's a dual circuit dual color fixture. So it can do things like, this is a standard responding red flash mode. You can also do things like red green mode or red whatever your secondary color is. Here's a command on demand or an alternating function here. You can kind of see a few different modes they do. What's cool about these things is we were asked by our customers kind of evaluate the whole night mode craze that people are talking about. How do we make the fire truck more visible? I honestly don't think that reducing the amount of light output is the best way to do it. Now it can do it, you can dim it, you can flash it, you can do all that stuff. But what we've done is we've added a side firing LED circuit that when the vehicle is responding while it's driving down the roadway, it's turned off so it's not blinding you in your oncoming mirrors or in, in the rear view mirrors. But when you get on scene, that part lights up and starts illuminating all the way around the light fixture. So if you think about it, a point source is super intense because when it's shining you directly in the eyes, that's all you can see because your eye focuses on it. 
But if you're able to create a bigger gradient, the reason there's all this glare and why you can't really see the emergency scenes is because you go from total darkness to a bright point source right at the fire truck. If you were able to improve the visibility so you had a high output that gradually reduced down the side of the vehicle to nothing, you'd have a broader area to see. It's almost like those big balloon lanterns. I think you see one behind me, one of those big balloon lights where it's real even distribution of light. We talk about it in scene lighting all the time. An even distribution of light is better than a high intensity of light. And with the HVC Guardian series fixtures, we add both both this halo effect around the light by having side firing LEDs illuminating the truck, as well as a super high output point source in the middle that really penetrates a long way into traffic's eyes so that they'll see you from a long distance away. You can dim them, you can flash them, and the best part is you can update them using the Hivis Connect protocol over a single wire interface. So if you're doing a retrofit and you're adding these things to a vehicle that already has a sync wire on board, you just reuse that sync wire and all of our data communicates down that one sync wire. It's pretty cool. For more information about the HVC Guardian and Guardian Junior fixtures, ask a FireTech team member or come by and check us out at FDIC. So the cherry on top to being able to spec a whole fire truck with FireTech scene lights and warning lights and DOT lights are these stop tail turn fixtures. So we have the standard FireTech Guardian Junior size, but we also have a backup light, a turn signal, and a stop and tail light. I'll show you a couple of features. The backup lights are just on and off. That's pretty simple. They meet all of the FMVSS 108 requirements for full-size vehicle backup lamps. We used to have customers use the FireTech Guardian Junior, which really is too bright to be compliant, so we tried to steer folks away from it. Now we have a part that fits directly in that location. It's certified for use on a fire truck. It's certified for use on the roadway in North America. That's the way to go there. The turn signal is pretty cool. You can do a couple of different modes. There's seven different flash patterns, but either a sequential arrow or you can just have it do a steady burn like a more traditional turn signal indicator. And then our stop lamps and our tail lamps, they do both a park lamp, runs in the middle, and then when you hit stop, you can either have stutter stop or you can have standard stop where it either starts and then goes or you have this regular one. Either way, it's pretty sick. These are available starting in September with all the other FireTech products that we're releasing here at the show. All right, for our ambulance customers here at FDIC, we're launching a UVC decontamination system we're calling Violet, it's like ultraviolet lighting. This thing produces super high output UVC light. Now, what we're not saying is that this system is gonna prevent COVID in the back of your ambulance, but what we are saying is that the FDA and the CDC have recognized that UVC output, high output UVC lighting can contribute to a reduction in pathogenic transmission inside of vehicles and in hospital rooms. And we make a system that produces ultra high output UVC light. Now you can draw the correlation if you like. The system is designed to go in the back of a truck, turn on and illuminate between patients and basically blanket the inside of the vehicle with UVC light output. It's based on an LED UVC emitter. It has an ultrasonic and a PIR motion sensor to make sure the back of the truck is not occupied. It also can sense when the vehicle is parked, it ties into the park brake. It can tie into seat belt sensors or seat weight sensors and and door sensors, but the whole system is designed so that it automatically runs before and after every call, which can help to ensure your vehicle has been irradiated with ultra high output uh, UV light between every vehicle. What's cool is we have the ability to add a cellular backhaul. That's coming soon. It's not being fully released and implemented yet, but the cellular backhaul will let you correlate patient care reports to each time the system has run. So you can say at XYZ time, before and after this patient was transported, I irradiated the back of the truck with high output UV light. And this system is able to kind of coordinate all of that and communicate with the internet to give you that reporting ability. If you're interested in this type of system for your, for your ambulance or your fire truck, reach out to a fire tech team member and we'll tell you all about it. A lot of people think about FDIC as a fire show, but there's a ton of ambulance tech here too. So in addition to the Violet UVC decontamination system, we also have all of our other ambulance products, the interior dome lights, this is the new Ideal series. These things are super sick because they, they shine light from the sides into this prismatic refractor in the middle where light just kind of bounces all over the inside of the truck. And when you're laying on a cot, looking up at the top of the truck where the lights are in your eyes, this is a lot easier to look at and a lot softer light than a traditional light fixture. We also have an eight inch round that does a low and high output mode. The cool thing about these fixtures is they're a really high color rendering index. And so they allow you to perceive colors very well. So if you're a medic trying to start a line on a patient, it's easy to tell the difference between like veins and empty space or the different colors in whatever you're working on because these fixtures are both a high color temperature and a broad spectrum high color rendering index fixture. You'll also see all of our other standard Hi-Viz Guardian series warning lights and scene lights, as well as our hybrid fixtures. This truck is set up for both the fire market and the ambulance market. If you come by and see us at FDIC, you can just pull the slide outs on the left side of the truck. This is kind of the EMS side, Violet's in the middle, and all the rest of the truck is kind of the fire side. So it's laid out for both markets. The other uh, interesting thing for the ambulance teams are on the back of the truck, a lot of times the three and four up um, taillight assemblies are more fire themed, but if you look over here, 
you'll see that these are also available in just standard bezels. So you can do a standard bezel or you can do no bezel. So for an ambulance application where you're looking for a super reliable, super high output tail light that matches the whole truck. So if you wanna do your scene lights, your warning lights, and your DOT lighting from the Firetech brand, all with the industry's only lifetime advance exchange warranty, you can do it now with all the products we're launching here at the show. So come by and see us. We're here in the main hall. We're uh, kind of centrally located in the main hall. Or if you're not gonna make it here to the show, check us out online. Our team members are all trained up on this stuff. Everything will be shipping in September timeline. Uh, some of the stuff's available today, but the new Omen warning light bar, the Guardian series, HVC Guardian series fixtures, and the taillights, that's all a September shipping timeline. Thanks so much, we'll see you later.